Hey everybody. Oh, good. It's Karen from Arfa Acrylics. How are you? Um, before I get started today, uh, I'm just going to do um, a couple uh, tiles for trivet boxes. I'm going to tell you guys about the trivet boxes. It's probably the number one question I've been getting over the last couple weeks. But before I do that, I have to give a shout out to a few folks who have um, supported my channel. Uh, Sue S., Constance, Stephanie J., Alicia S., and a special shout out. They're all special. But Shauna, um, somebody I don't even know who lives uh, in New Jersey, um, saw a plea where I was begging for Australian flow trawl because mine's held up in Australia and has been for nearly eight weeks now. And she sent me a little bottle of it, which is the only reason I'm able to um, paint on my uh, tiles tonight. So thanks to everybody um, and supporting the, the uh, pouring community. That's what it's all about, so thanks. Let me show the results from the last video and then we're gonna get cracking. Crack that whip. So last video we did the little pours with the, um, the Orteza pearl metallics they're really blingy i gotta say i still call that sage green and not olive green uh, i'm sorry for any sort of reflection but there's the dark one there is quite and then here's the light one and i'm still vacillate depending on my mood or the day of which one i like i do like them together um i think i'll be willing to sell them separately but i kind of want to sell them as a diptych too so if you're interested give me a holler and then um, I'm going to put the camera down and show you some boxes and tell you how you can get your hands on them. You should really buy one of mine. <laughs> I got to give a plug, right? Which I hate to do, but it's true. Um, so let me do that and I'll show you a couple different kinds and where you can get them. So if you fast forward through the first couple minutes of the video and you don't watch this part, Boo on you, I say. <laughs> All right, so if you Google tiles for boxes or box tiles or anything like that, you're not gonna get much. You can get them when they're in stock from Dick Blix, the art store. Uh, the key phrase to put into Google is sublimation boxes. S-U-B-L-I-M-A-T-I-O-N boxes. You put that in to your, you know, whatever you like to use, Google, Yahoo, whatever, and do a search on that phrase. You're going to get a ton of hits either for local shops in your area or bigger places that sell countrywide. Um, and this just isn't in the U.S. It works everywhere. So whatever country you're in, that's the phrase you use in order to get these tiles with, let me grab one, with these boxes. And I'm gonna take, oops, oh, my spatula. I'm gonna take a second and show you a couple of different styles that you can find out there. I am not loyal to any one company, so I bought um, a bunch of boxes from three different places and I don't remember which box came from where but I just want to show you what's available out there in the market. Number one is this box, this style here. It is deeper than normal. It's black on the inside with the hinges and it holds this, what is that? Like a six by six tile and it comes in this cherry red. There's also, um, I think it's the same company. I call these watch boxes. This is also in the cherry red. Same deal, long and skinny. Great Father's Day present right there. And then, oops, you can get them in other colors. I just completed this guy here. Now this is the shinier wood. Um, it's been lacquered. These, I believe, are white on the inside. Yeah, like this. And then, um, it's the same size as that first box, um, but it's not as deep. So if I could, I would set them down side by side so you could see it. You can get them in other colors besides the honey or the cherry or the maple. You can also get them in the black lacquer, like this guy here. How do I open it? 
Hold on. <laughs> Why can't I figure out how to open a box? Oh, there we go. So the black ones have the white interior. You get the idea. But there's all these different sizes um, out there. Um, some of them come with the felt bottom, some do not. Uh, and then finally, there are a couple different styles of the four and a quarter inch box. These um, little ones here, so this is in the cherry. I just finished this one the other day. Uh, this one, um, that has the, the faux velvet in the cream color like that, that you can find. And it also comes in, and it's a different shape. It's the same size tile, but this honey one, you can see it's it's got the wider um, surface around it. And the inside of these, if I can figure out how to open it, is white. So those are all the different kinds of boxes you can find. Um, is this one the same size? Hold on, I might have one more. I don't think it's... No, I think I showed you this. This is another one, but I think it's the same size. The little cherry one. Yeah, with the, with the cream inside. So those are things you can find. Have at it. And uh, yeah, they all come with the tiles. You don't have to buy the tile separate. Um, they come with, which is really nice. I bought a couple spares just to have because, you know, Butterfingers at all. So, with all that said, I'm good to do, um, I think just two real quick before my husband, um, I send him out to get dinner. So, before he gets back, um, she says optimistically, uh, I am using nothing but golden fluid acrylics tonight. I gave the, um, the pigments the night off. So, colors I have, I have a teal, I have a permanent violet dark so my purple I have this oh I do have a Utrecht is that a Utrecht color yeah I have a Utrecht one Utrecht fluid acrylic right here yellow green light I basically just picked all my favors let's be honest we have turk phthalo turquoise so the deeper turquoise color and then you know, my all-time favorite, the Cronacrido Nickel Azo Gold, because it just goes with everything. So that's my palette. Um, I did one before I went on. I wasn't even going to film, honestly, because I, I don't know, I've been in kind of a funk, a painting funk, I think, like a lot of people. Uh, and I've been painting occasionally without filming. And I did a, um, I did one about a half an hour ago and then I thought you know you should get up a video so here we are um, pouring medium recipe house paint um, and, and all of that will come up on the screen these are these are three ounce cups so obviously I have about two ounces of paint and all you do is you, you just squirt some in and give it a mix until you get the shade you want that's all there is to it there's nothing fancy about mixing there's no other ingredients. It's the untinted house paint and varnish with a squirt of color. That's it. No silicone, no nothing. All right. What is all over this one? That's going to get covered in paint. So I'm just going to do one right smack in the middle. Give it a little blow, maybe a little spin. See what happens. throw on some gloves because I just scrubbed my fingers. I'm uh, dead, dead tired. That's the other reason I look like hell because uh, I went to bed like at, I don't know, 2 a.m. and got up at, at 5 and I took my daughter in for, uh, I'm always butchering this word, strabismus surgery lazy eye surgery she had surgery this morning um uh at 6 30 a.m she's doing great she's upstairs 
watching some Beauty and the Beast TV show. So I'm staring at my boxes and I'm looking at the cherry one. Um, and I have one already for that. So I want to do a tile for, I think another cherry box. So maybe honey. I think I'm going to, I'll make it so it's both. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the phthalo turquoise. I might do all blues and greens. And just go dark, lighter, light. And there's my teal. And let's do the green. Because that'll look good with a honey colored box for sure. Those three. I made both black and white cell activator. So uh, a little thinner this time. It's a four to one ratio. So it's my Amsterdam titanium white. We're mixed with Australian Floetrol, but it's thin. See, it barely leaves a mound before it disappears into the paint. And I got my little hair mini hair dryer out. Do I want to do white or black? Maybe I do both. I'm going to do both. I'm going to put white first. It's sinking pretty quick. And I don't care if I get white cells. That's fine by me. And then we're going to do black right on top of it. Let's see what that does. Experiment a little bit. Mini hair dryer, it's on high, so that's a thousand watts. And I hold on to the cool button. I'm at the, uh, near the end of my can of house paint. I always find that it gets a little thick towards the end. I could tell because the paint didn't want to move and I kind of had to force the issue a little. All right, excuse my head. I'm gonna stick it in here and give this a little puff. I love the white here and I love the black there. That's cool. Mm, that's too much of an open area. So let me see if I can get something right there. closer to me. Got some. Let those grow a second. That might be kind of cool to have those black right in the middle of this tile. So we'll just give that a second. Think about my order for the next guy. This is where I need like a commercial. And we'll be right back. Uh, oh, I love the colors. I wish the darker um, the phthalo turquoise showed up just a little bit more, but overall, it's just, it's just really pretty. You can't go wrong with those. Maybe the next one I throw in some of the, uh, Azo gold. All right, is this ready to go? 
Yeah, let's give this a little spin. Oh, I love it with the black and the white. See, I like that white on the end here. I wish I, I wish I had more of it. I'd like to get, keep this where it has the white too. It's just very pretty. Let me go the other way. Oh, that piece of paper drives me nuts. Stick under there. How is it? Super pretty. Do I go one more time? Maybe one more time the other way and not too much though. Oh yeah, ta-da. Now I'll be ultra picky and wipe off my spatula for my goo from earlier and scoop up some of these cells right here that are on my turntable. And I guess if I wanted to, we could just stick those right here and kind of stretch them out a little bit, make them look natural. Oh, I grabbed the black ones. I should have grabbed the white ones. Or we could just put the white ones on top and then just spin this out um, a little bit. Yeah, I want to do the white ones, the white cells. Like that, and then give that a little spin on that corner. Nothing crazy. Just to help it sink in. There's a black spot that's going to bug me. Dang, do I get picky or what? Yep, that looks good to me. Ta-da, I'll do a close-up at the end because I'm just gonna do these two little ones and then um, and then clean up. I'm tuckered. I'm just whooped. Whooped, I'm whooped. So I'm gonna grab him with my spatula, put him on my little station behind me. <clears throat> stuck my finger in that corner to make it look more natural. All right, number two. Let's see. Let's wake up my pain a little bit. trick and let's go with let's have some contrasting colors so I'm going to do the violet and my azo gold I think I'm gonna do this one in white and do and then do my phalo turquoise those all seem pretty dark right I'm tempted to throw teal on top of it but I'm gonna resist resist the urge and I'm worried that my white is maybe a little bit too thin we'll see yeah, see how quick it's sinking? Let me go real quick. Yeah, that one, that time I blew a little too hard, didn't I? Not used to the little canvases. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty right there. Let's just grab this. It's gonna get spun off, but I'm just gonna stick it there to help things slide around. Same with this little bit. Oh wow, those colors are amazing. I'm gonna say. 
Where else? I do plan, um, I want to do some blooms on the, um, on my silicone pad and let them dry and then uh, do something with the skins. And I'm normally not a skin person, but I just have like an idea that I wanna try out. All right, I don't know if I wanna give a puff in this one. Maybe a little one. Try to get a clip kinda of close. that a second what do we think about these colors though <gasps> I think they're fantastic oh my gosh we'll let that collect I actually I'm going to take a finger and stick it in and join stick it in this and have some of these join up a little bit like there in here, there, and maybe right here. Um, one more. All right. That looks rather collected all together. Let's give this a little spin. Whoa, that was a hard spin, girlfriend. Oh, good thing I stopped that. Wow. I got a blank space right there. Do I care about that or not? That's the debate. Cells got really big. I don't think I'll ever get over there. I think this thing is so pretty. Well, I could, I could try and scoop some color, a gray hair, squish it all together and stick it in there and then spin it out. Uh, it might be kind of light. Let me grab some more to put on top of it. I don't know if I ruined it or not. We'll find out. I kind of were kind of worried that I did. And the rest of it's spectacular, so I'll be bummed out. But I guess we can always do it again. All right, that's a lot of paint in that one little spot. Whoa, most of it came off. Yay! Oh my gosh, you crazy piece of paper. Stay under there. I'm stopping right there. There's a, like a little tiny bit right there with some color. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let me see if I can get it up. Give you a quick preview. There's that one. What do you think? One more? I kind of want to do one more in those same colors, truth be told. Maybe do. Let's do a long skinny one and then I'll be done for reals. My husband and I have been binge watching um, Ozark. I think I told you guys this, but we're like, we only have the last two episodes to watch. 
and we're dying to know how it ends or what the cliffhanger will be, so. And can I just say, Jason Bateman, yeah, he's another one that can eat crackers in bed for sure. He's a doll. All right. I know that was random. Let's see, what do I do? Maybe two? Two blooms? Let's try that. So we did. We're gonna try, I feel like that's not enough paint. Not enough puddle. Pillow, I mean. Let's add a little more pillow on top of that. There we go. Um, maybe I try two little blooms in same colors but different order. So like do one in the purple. I don't know how this is going to look, but I guess we'll find out. We'll, we'll put the, uh, the phyllo turquoise on top of both and just switch up the order on the bottom. I should do each in a different cell activator color. I don't know how nice that'll look on a box though. So I'm gonna stick to white. All right, where's my white? Well, this is gonna be interesting to blow out. No, I didn't think this through very carefully. <laughs> All right. crazy <laughs> I kind of like it though oh, I did a terrible job I didn't know what I was doing there with that blowout for sure I did not know what I was doing that was called flying by the seat of my pants we're gonna stick that there just so it blows off oh my gosh this is so pretty leave the white space too. I kind of like the crazy design in the middle. And not blow and not sew it up. Or just maybe blow a little bit right there. Let me just blow a little bit. Put there. I love this here. Wow. Oh, that really sewed up right there. It still has the white around it. I probably had too much paint. Let me um, scrape some of this away so you guys can see. Don't scrape it into the tile. So you can see what it looks like before I do anything. I love the crazy middle with the colors. I do. I just think I need to um, spin it a little bit to get rid of some paint. Oh, that's really fun. 
What do we think? Should I have done three? Or do we like the crazy middle? I think I kind of like it, guys. That is going to be one happy box. All right, let me, um, I'm done. Ta-da! Let me, uh... I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll go put him away, line them up, and we'll take a, um, oh, I missed a spot. Hold on. There. That has no paint there. Hold on. This little baby spin. Did you spill over? Oh, you didn't. Oh. oh. Maybe go the other way. You don't want to lose all your cells. Okay, I fixed it, sort of, kind of. Yeah, so let me, um, I'm going to turn the, the thing off. I'll go set these all up, and we'll do a close-up, and I'll say goodbye. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back for the close-up. Uh, this was the second one here, just because it's closest. Let me come up high for a second. This guy here, it's, uh, they're all pretty great, I think. I like the V shape there. Um, really defined cells. So there was number two. Uh, the blue green guy, number one up here, is just so springy and happy. And I really, really like the white um, throughout this one. Um, we got your black center with the white cells and then whites on the edges, the whites, white on the edges. So that one's super pretty too. Um, Oops, sorry. Sorry for the reflection. Super, super pretty. Here's the first one I did off camera, then I realized this one is earmarked for one of the um, cherry boxes with the reds. And this one doesn't convey on camera because it looks like the center is some brown color. Um, and my camera's not picking up. That's all gold. So that's kind of weird, it's not picking that up. You can kind of maybe see it a little on the edge. It's really gold. And then finally, the one we just did, I'm kind of in love with this guy. It's just fun and happy and crazy looking. And uh, I just think it's awesome. So yep, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and tuning in. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.